Okay, too. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, it's a snake. It's a snake. snake. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> he think he looks sexy yeah, yeah. on camera. Do y'all think so? Yeah. Don't let me know in the comments. Give us a little, little, little tiny little, little run in. So this is the mess that I created on the floor. All right, you got to start right here. No, 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 come over here. You got to start up here. All right. On your march, you got to start off like this. On your march, get set. Okay. On your, on your march, get set, go. Yo, I'm going to make this real quick, but I just wanted to come on here and talk about Nazi doing his big one around this track now. My son didn't go into his uncle's track me and he like, oh, I want to get on the track and run. I want to get on the track and run. So I woke up. I wanted to spend some time with my my little brother. So I took um, them to the track and y'all, this boy ran around this whole track. He only stopped one for like five seconds. So that made me so proud. He had been begging to get out here on this track and he really came out here and showed me why he was begging y'all. So go Nazi. Nah, I'm doing good. He ain't stopped yet. Look at that. He stopped. <laughs> he did do good. <laughs> he should come out here every day. That's why I said I want to start bringing him outside. On top of that, y'all, do y'all see how my baby stayed in the second lane the whole time? Like, he didn't even run out. Like, I don't know. It's just the little things that maybe just, that just be making me so happy. I'm like, now he ran the whole track. Now he stayed in his lane. Tell us we got a telegram. Tell me we, we, we got us a little track star in the family. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> y'all, he made me so proud. Give you high five. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Go get you some water. <laughs> you did good, Nazi Poo. Give us a little, little, little tiny little, little run in. Y'all, I don't know about me because I'm, I'm getting old now. About to be 24. I know that ain't old, baby. My stamina. What I used to do in high school is not the same no more. I am behind on the athletic level. Y'all, one of the funny things is having to edit these films. Like, look at Nas. <laughs> Broom. That boy. <laughs> that boy is quick as lightning. Then, y'all, this next clip, y'all. I used to be running track thinking I was doing something. Girl, look at me, y'all. Tired. I'm not needed. Running pigeon toe. About to fall out. Boy, look at that. Thinking I was about to come on here killing this track, the track about that kill me. Hi y'all. Yeah, can hey. Outside. Hey. And then when he asked for water, the you tired? Yes. No water, he ended up collapsing. And the sad part about Hey, 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 y'all. Hey. <laughs> 
Are you okay? You gotta turn the camera around so that they can see you. <laughs> Look. See? They can see you. They can see me. Can y'all see me? Okay. He, he thinks he looks sexy yeah. on camera. Do y'all think so? Yeah. Don't let me know in the comments. Period. Yeah. Oh, let's get oh, Thank you. All right. Dad! Dad! Mm. I just say hi to yeah. my friend. You just say hi to your friend? Mm-hmm. Now we are walking to my niece's trekking. And I know I wasn't gonna like be vlogging in like <laughs> my days and stuff, but I'm just vlogging because like this is stuff that I typically like to record. So I'm recording on this camera and I'm like, I may or may not add it into the video. So that's why y'all see little clips of me doing stuff. Cause I didn't want, it, didn't want it to just be moving, I guess. Like, of course me moving and everything, but I mean, this is the in-between process. I'm still doing things, still hanging out, and eventually I won't be doing that no more because when we get down there, we gotta get to work, get to business. But this is the view right now. Look at Brie Asia. She the second leg. She all the way over there. She the second leg. Oh, oh my God, Brianna! Go, Brianna! Go, 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 go! Of course I did. <laughs> I'm sorry we missed, we didn't think that it started because usually when we be going to Tiandra games, it don't be starting until like 5.45. <laughs> Theirs be late. It start like 5.45. Dang, I'm sorry. That girl though, sorry. She did good though. Yeah, she, she can't. She tired, she had to do 200 before that. I did too. Usually she like do good, but like, you know, she did random things. She ran like a whole thing. She ran like a whole thing. Snake. It's a snake. snake. Yes! Them. They really trying to pick up that rock so that they can find that snake. <laughs> That's why I got it. Right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to reorganize everything that I have packed up in these bags because I showed you guys before the things that I bought and what I was going to use but I feel like that's more for like traveling that's not for preparing that's not for you know so I'm trying to utilize the things that I have and the things that I bought because I didn't think it was going to be this difficult trying to fit things in spaces in the trunk so it's just been a lot, but I'm gonna show you this little mess I created, but. So this is the mess that I created on the floor, <laughs> y'all. So it's not that bad, but I'm just, all that stuff to me is pretty organized. Well, like, you know, I know what I'm using those for, but now it's the 
rearrange and stuff so i went and got these like magic bags you know seal bags they didn't work like how i exactly thought but i do feel like they are going to play a part in this organization going on so that tote right there came with this but i'm going to use that for my jeans and i'm going to leave those out like that because i realized that like even though I felt like I wasn't gonna be wearing pants, I never know and I don't like wearing the same things over and over again. So I put those in there and I was like, I could put my duffel bags on top and I could put my shirts in the duffel bag because I feel like the shirts will be a lot more easier to rummage through than jeans, something that's hard to pull out, you know, creating a mess. So I feel like I'll be able to do that and nazi stuff i'm gonna start he just went i showed you guys before that he just got a bunch of clothes so i gotta go back through his other clothes because i was kind of like hoarding his clothes like he's still small like he's three but he he can still fit into like 2t 3t but i've been buying him like 4t 5t stuff now because he's about to be four and you don't know when they're gonna hit that growth spurt so i bought like him yesterday i bought him some well no 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 this morning when i got off work i went and bought him some pajamas and i bought him in 5t at first i was gonna buy him in like 3t 4t because i'm like he's still small but once i came home and put him on him they long but they fit him that's good and i wanted him to have some pajamas when we leave because you know depending on the situation like i said i don't know what's gonna happen in the near future but you i just want him to have like just that variety like you got five 10 sets of pajamas and then you got 10 sets of shorts pants you get what i'm saying like I, i'm trying to make sure i buy things that would be significant that i don't have to purchase again he's starting to grow out his pajamas that was one thing he grew out of them then i was like he really don't need them and then like i it'd be cold putting the robe it, it just be so much i like him to have pajamas robe and house shoes you know but house shoes i couldn't find him none when i went to walmart so i was like okay skip that but i bought him some pajamas so and i need to get me some too like it's like i need like pajama pajamas like something that is literally pajamas because like this this not really pajamas i made it to that but if i feel like wearing it out then you know wash it and i wear it out but it's like i mainly use it for pajamas but this is something that you can wear you know anywhere so i want pacific pajamas too but that can wait i don't need them i feel like he needed them more but right now i'm just trying to figure out the best way to be organized accessible um picking out the things that i'm going to wear the most and picking out things i'm not going to wear the most and putting them away where those don't have to be accessible so that's what i'm trying to do and i'm trying to figure out if i want to show you guys the process because it's going to be all over the place like literally <laughs> it's going to be chaotic so but i'm gonna get back started because now i've been asleep for a long time now and i feel like i haven't gotten nothing done um i've been really putting a lot of thinking and planning into my channel and my biggest thing is going to be consistency because i feel like i should be able to do youtube when i want to do it how i want to do it and expect it to grow when i know that it's like a certain type of you know you got to be consistent and have a pattern and learn the algorithm like oh blah, blah, blah. so i'm like i'm trying to keep it in between where it's good and i'm consistent but i still have me my time and you know just presented a certain way so but enough rambling because i be feeling like when i was watching back these clips all i do is talk but um i'm just show y'all a little bit of what i'm doing
it y'all so i'm still trying to figure it out and see because i know like this is going like i said my accessible bag that's going to be the one that i always take out the car pick up so i want to put like outfits in there so all of this might not be stuff like that but there's main shirts that i wanted to have worn i want to be able to get and wear every day is going to be these so i want that in here and i'm gonna see how it fits in there but if it does not fit the way i want it then this is just gonna be zipped up but by itself maybe and i'm gonna take out a few shirts and try to put outfits together if that makes sense so pre-made outfits and i'm gonna use that so it'll be like five outfits in there with the shirt the pants all of that and then maybe like underwear socks and bras pre-planned out and stuff like that so So let me show you how far I made it. <laughs> so this is so far what I have done. So I fit literally all my jeans is in there. But like I said, some of them are going to come out and they're going to go in this pink one. Some of my shirts and everything are going to change as well because they're going to go in the pink one. And then I got three duffel bags filled. So this one has dresses this one has like dresses skirts blazers that one is like all of these are dressy clothes that i wanted to take with me and then i'm gonna show you guys my closet so i'm gonna show you guys the closet so all those hangers like literally this is how much we got left to literally pack and i would move that but that's right there but look at that that was such a dramatic change like all of that was filled up and all of that is in there like that's freaking amazing like so those are you know like my little button ups and stuff it's not that much and just the hangers and stuff i didn't even use those bags i feel like those bags were low-key i kind of waste my money but i don't want to say too much just yet because i still might use 
some like i know that real big one this big one right here this big one i'm gonna use for my sweaters back there because i'm not gonna need those until like the winter time and i'm like by time then i hope that i have a place um, we, we hoping we have a place well we ain't even gonna hope we know the lord is gonna make it happen amen amen but i still got more clothes that i gotta go through in my first um closet out there in the hallway my jackets and stuff i don't really wear winter coats so my winter coats is gonna be easy to get rid of but it's going to be my um vest and stuff and then i think this might i might be able to make it fit in the trunk when i get my car back um my car is at the shop right now i was gonna record this morning but i was tired and i had to carry all them bags and stuff but i'll probably record me picking up my car um, I had to get a lot of maintenance, <laughs> like a lot of maintenance on my car. Um, I, a couple things on my list was, let me look. So a few things that was on my list, I'm looking at my tablet right now. A few things that was on my list to get done for my car was, of course, the diagnostics. Diagnostics was 130 <laughs> out the woodwork already. So then my power steering, my exhaust, my brakes, um, and... I'm trying to think, oh, he had to do a degreasing. He called me and said that they needed to do a degreasing because I have a leak somewhere in my oil, which I already knew that. I already had seen that. But it was so crazy, though, because every time I would take my car somewhere to look at it and I'll tell them that my oil is leaking, they would check and be like, oh, well, your oil is full and this and this and this and that. They did tell me, like, it was very oily underneath my car, but they would never, like, so rule number one, girl make sure you just take your car and get check checkups because you'll go to AutoZone or Bell Tire or someplace like that and they'll just be like, oh, it don't, no, don't listen to them. And my car is a Chevy, so I'll take it to Gates, Chevy World. And I feel like whatever make your car is, whatever model it is, um, if it's an Audi, take it to an Audi shop. Don't be going to Gates. Don't be going. I know it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but take it to the people who are certified and work with those cars all the time because you'll go to somebody else who don't work with those cars a lot and they'll tell you something totally different. So best thing for you to do is take it to where it needs to go. So I took mine to Gates Chevy World and I'm praying like I saved up a couple stacks for this car to get fixed um so i'm praying that is within the budget you know lord we already at 700 the first day like with just the brakes we said what did we say we said the brake was gonna be like three something then my uh sorry i don't even need this uh my brakes was gonna be three something the diagnosis was like 130 the degrees in like that costed close to i think like 100 or so but Round it all off is like seven hundred dollars. I was like, and I know my power steering is gonna be a thousand out the woodwork. I just know that not even with the labor, like the piece itself is a thousand dollars. I'm praying that we stay underneath the budget. We stay within that three thousand, four thousand, not even four thousand. I wanted my minimum is is three thousand. My max. 3500 that's <laughs> that's it baby that's it This material 
y'all can see let me try to focus it real close i feel like this material get linty and just stretch all out i feel like the shorts is good quality look at that like i feel like the shorts are good quality end up getting some underwear off tiktok and i like these like you know these little thin ones with no lines and then i like how this is in the inside so i got a pack of 21 and i think it was like only like 14 dollars so it's all of these right here i would you know show y'all one by one but my camera finna die but i really do Lep cheetah print leopard print um, so I thought I was recording but I wasn't recording this is why I need to get up off this camera it's starting to really blow me it's starting to really pee me off but like I was saying the cheetah print if y'all can't tell bow, 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 bow. cheetah the print I'm loving it <laughs> I used to wonder when I was kid because my mom was in love with cheetah print and zebra and I used to wonder like when I was young because everybody used to have it now I know what the girlies was doing I know what the girlies was doing because I just I love it anywhere and then like I'm just gonna go through them real quick but these pink the lighting is a little bit different on the camera from what I'm seeing because these are a little bit darker in real person in real life but like these are darker they're more burgundy-ish I say that show up pretty well but I got these from TikTok, like I said. And I just love how I don't have no seam. Like, of course, like right there I do. But like, look, it just. And I got them in a the small and I wanted to try to get them in a the medium, but I'm scared because these fit me. I just don't want no pressure, if that makes sense. Like. But then I don't want them too loose because these are real smooth. Or are they going to be sliding off my butt or loose to loose enough to give me a wedgie? So I am 5'2", 125 pounds. And I wear a size small. So if you're trying to get some. But I'm not going to be wearing these. These are for, I, I just got done washing them. They smell good, they smell like game but just got done washing these these are for when i leave and of course i'm gonna take my other underwear but i'm gonna go through those and throw some away and keep some for like when i'm on my period so i just wanted to invest in like because i got a bunch of pink aries those type of underwear and my pink ones i done had for a good minute i keeps my underwear clean thank you um but i done had them for a while and i always i just accumulate underwear like i got so much underwear that i probably don't have to wash for a month so i wanted to like but i've been like re, you know using them reusing so i just wanted to have like a fresh pair you know when i move like fresh and i like that if say you do sweat or so this isn't a material that's gonna be super uncomfortable i feel like it'll dry quick on you because it's gonna be hot this summer so i'm like i need something that's loose light not too much not digging in my crotch and i feel like these are going to be so good so and this is my son oh this is old navy shirt from i mean this is his pajama shirt from old navy and he done had this for maybe like a year and look how white it is look how it don't look dingy it don't look yellow or brown oh maybe got some good and what size is this this is a 2t and he can still fit it when i tell you on oh, maybe clothes got voodoo in it baby it got voodoo and then like this is from walmart and you kind of see how it look kind of like frumpy like i don't know like these ones especially if he if he put these on and he's running around the house playing these must be so stretched out they be just like i don't want to stretch them out to show y'all but like it's like once they get stretched out look at them it's like you gotta <laughs> y'all this is what i mean by like walmart clothes don't be having no like 
elasticity to them like they just put them on and them boys be saggy soggy after 15 minutes got this cubic right here and it's for my underwear and bra so i'm gonna go get me some more bras too the only thing is i'm picky about my bras I found this one bra that was my best bra and I got it from Sheen. But when I went to my orders to go figure out what bra it was that I had to reorder some more, I couldn't find it. So I need to go back on Sheen and try to order another bra. But like, I'd be so scared because that bra like is small and it like covers everything and it pushes them up a little bit. And I just, I really was in love with that bra. So, and I don't like Victoria's Secret bras. I don't like they will really have to impress me for me to buy another bra for but anyways y'all I'm done got the space area all cleaned up you know now I'm about to relax sit in the living room eat watching TV look y'all he waking up and I'm glad I got everything cleaned up before he woke up hi Nazi it's still night time. Uh, he up now, so he finna occupy me. So I'm, we'll see y'all next time. Peace.